Hey everyone, Panda back with you and we are out exploring. A little bit off the road actually. I'm trying to zoom out here, checking out some uh, areas down off the road that are around this uh, little protected waterway here. I mean, you're not going to really take a boat and go out uh, into the main water area here, but this is kind of cool. This area right here, of course, security orb. I was able to sneak in right here kind of see what was going on but check this on the map for you guys yeah I see I'm right here we're in uh Venestrate Venestrate location 220 49 21 but yeah I wouldn't come to that location because obviously it's someone's house I'm here for the purpose of the video so but kind of cool I like the uh, setup here little bar they have going on here Hakuna Beach Bar Adult. I mean, this is pretty cool. I love the uh, distressed type of uh, like dock setup they have going on here. I mean, the house is, uh, you know, they have a lot of just stuff going on, but, you know, it fits. It really makes it look lived in, right? I can make it in, so I don't get that door. So, yeah. I, yeah, look at this. My God, look at all the stuff in here. But I mean, you come in here and you you get the feeling of something going on. Camp mattress adult. That is so cool. I like how that's been put in there. I and mean, check this out. I love how people like pay so much attention to detail i mean you see how all this stuff is kind of like just you know an old type of distress type of look i mean it totally fits the surroundings i mean this is good really good what the hell is here is it like a computer setup or something there they have gaming like a gaming uh setup man oh blinds you can open and close the blinds oh cool Man, this isn't that big, is it? Oh, what the hell is that? Is that like servers? Computer servers or something? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, oh. They got a big couch right here. Check this out. What's this couch? Ruckus, let's smash couch. I don't think I've seen that texture on my Ruckus couches before. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. My God. Yeah, this is a uh, really nicely done. You know what I've been thinking about doing is uh, like once a month, I'm going to go ahead and like write down the coordinates and like the owner's names on the property and say the top three places that I find that are just like really I mean just cool just kick ass and I'm gonna go ahead and give away some lindens to those people you know not too hard to do simple as uh, bring the person up and hit pay right so and it, you know, it's how they have the, uh, like, swampy kind of marsh set up going on here around the outside of the property. Yeah, this is, uh, this is cool. Oh, check out this hammock. What the world? Revival hammock land in pack of eight. We got some little floaties out here. Man, we've got a lot of different stuff going on here. Look at that. What, something like live music maybe or yeah live music check that out this is so cool let's see what kind of a place is that it's the same uh yeah maker as this place here yeah this is a fisher point cottage land impact of 56 kind of a nice little place though this one over here 
Land impact. Prims of 27. Land impact of 50. It's kind of strange. Yeah. Another thing, too, you know, I, there's been times where I've searched for, uh, you know, like if you're on floating water, right, you want to get like your own piece of uh, kind of like sandy ground, you know, that looks natural with the water and surroundings. Sometimes it can be kind of hard. You know, I mean, they, they look kind of funky and stuff. I mean, this one over here, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, you're going to get kind of the rough edges. That's the one thing I've never really liked. I, you know, I like more of the gradual edges where it actually slopes down, you know, natural looking and whatnot. Kind of like when you take the regular land and you can terraform the land, take it right down and have everything kind of soft and kind of like just blend right into the water. Yeah, you know, where the water meets the land or the land actually starts to go under the water. Yeah, that's kind of the best. But yeah, kind of a cool place here. Love it when people actually take the time and they just, you know, have a lot of stuff going on. I mean, yeah, it looks really busy. Like they have so many different items. But that really adds to the realism and the immersion in it, guys. So, all right, well. I'm going to go explore some more and see what I can uh, dig up for another episode of the Road Tour, guys. Stay safe out there. Peace. And I'll see you guys next time.